Hello YouTube people. So I wanted to show you guys or talk to you guys today about a humongous, ridiculous ammonia spike I had in my uh, fish tank, in my saltwater reef fish tank. Uh, my ammonia level pretty much reached this right here, at least eight ppm, if not higher. It was completely and utterly fucked. I mean, done. <laughs> The whole tank crashed. Um, and this is pretty much what's what's left after my spike, which I was able to save my uh, my two clowns, this asshole damsel that would probably survive me lighting this tank on fire, um, and I have a couple small corals. I had a massive cyano uh, algae bloom. Everything went out. This is finally starting to recover. Um, but pretty much everything crashed. I was able to save also my uh, my Rosa anemones um, on my tank. But um, kind of wanted to talk to you guys today about how I was able to save these, uh, considering that everything pretty much crashed and burned in my tank. And uh, this tank's been running for about a year. I had um, some nice mushrooms, or here's what's left. They're still somewhat recovering. Sorry about the view. The camera's kind of shitty. Um, and uh, kind of let me uh, walk you through what happened and uh, uh, explain to you my situation which you guys could probably use hopefully to help you guys out um, so here we go pretty much last Saturday uh, my three-year-old daughter decided while I was at work that she saw daddy feeding the fishes and decided to dump a bottle of some RO eggs that I have so pretty much she dumped all of this this was a brand new bottle she dumped the whole damn thing into the tank because she wanted to feed the fishes so basically what happened it crashed my tank by the time I got home they were still floating around uh, I siphoned as much of it as I could and uh, did a small water change but the damage was already done uh, by that time, by the next day, uh, Sunday, my for whatever reason, the ammonia levels just, just climbed. There was not enough stuff that I could do to it to, to change it. Um, and everything just started dying. This actually, I'm sorry, this actually happened Friday while I was at work. By Sunday, everything was, was pretty much just nose diving. The fish were having a hard time breathing. Um, and I pretty much went into an emergency water change. I did about a 40% water change on it and um, I had some of this top fin shit that I was uh, adding to it. So pretty much what I ended up doing was I did a 40% water change on Sunday. Um, I kind of rushed to the stores on uh, Monday and I picked up this prime stuff which is uh, kind of a dechlorinator ammonia detox detoxifier nitrite my nitrite levels were up my ammonia level was up I mean the tank was completely toxic um, I added a cap full of this which is about one milliliter serves about 10 gallons so I, I actually gave it a full scoop which is about five milliliters for 50 gallons and um, that pretty much, I would probably say this saved the fish if anything because it's, it's supposed to detoxify the ammonia. What I ended up doing was I did the 40% water change, filled it back up, dropped some of this stuff in there, did the whole salinity temperature, made sure everything was up to par. Um, put that in there. I didn't add any bacteria after that because uh, you're not supposed to add on, on here bacteria for at least... I think it says something like 30 minutes to an hour before you add anything because of dechlorinators. I guess it kills bacteria. I uh, changed my Fosgard, bought some new fresh Fosgard, added that. I went and I also added a Kenny Pure Elite. Um, took my carbon out, added this stuff in there, um, and ran the system. Um, after the water change, nothing happened. It's like if, like, like if I didn't even do a water change, this shit was still green. So, I mean, the rule of thumb is to at least take some of the ammonia out, but that wasn't doing shit. Um, sorry about my shitty camera placement, but it's the best I'm doing. Um, so what I ended up doing is I went to my uh, back to the fish store on uh, Wednesday, 
and I bought some of this Instant Ocean Biosphere. This shit is expensive. This small bottle alone is about 15 bucks, and it only gives you about 30 gallons. So, um, I shut off my skimmer, dumped this whole fucking bottle in there. I also picked up some uh, MB7, dumped some of that stuff in there. Pretty much, I assume that the um, the filter was pretty much done. Everything in there, either any beneficial bacteria that was in there to nitrify and destroy and take care of the the um, the, the ammonia were were gone. So I quickly dumped this, quickly dumped this. It's like I had to redo the whole tank all over again. Um, and I shut off the skimmer for 48 hours. Um, I also picked up some of this ammonia reducer um, media pads and I cut those up, put them in there and after 48 hours I turned on my skimmer. As soon as I turned on my skimmer that fucker just bubbled up, bubbled up, bubbled up. In fact, it's, it's after all these days it's still picking up shit. You can see there's still scum. I stopped feeding the fish immediately. Um, and by Friday, I did an additional third. I did about a 30% water change and uh, was testing the, the parameters every day as they were dropping. By Saturday, this Saturday, my parameters were at the yellow at zero ppm. So the shit works. Um, just so you know, my tank, I have a 30 gallon rimless. Um, the back. I have it set up, so I have kind of a small refugium, a little micro. Here are some of the pads, the the Kemi Per Elite, my Remora, and uh, more filtration that I have on here. Um, and I can't believe it, but it dropped it. It dropped it. The fish, these little assholes survived. They like to bite. And my uh, PPMs, the tank obviously is still recovering. There's still a lot of slime on the bottom. I'm, I'm due for a water change. I'm going to do another water change tomorrow and see how that goes. But um, it worked. It worked for me. Uh, I'm a believer in the shit. If uh, I haven't seen too many ammonia spike videos out there. But um, if you run into something like this, anybody out there, um, I highly recommend this Prime stuff. It's fucking amazing. I mean, it literally, I would, I would probably say this saved the fish. And... Between the Biospira and the MB7 with additional top fins crap, I mean it 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 it, it lowered the ammonia within the week. Um, along with I'm assuming at least the Chempure stuff that I added on. Um, so, I mean uh, it worked for me. I'm still obviously monitoring. Um, I lost just about all my coral that was in there. I had some frog spawn, other little things in there. Um, I was able to move some of that stuff to my uh, a smaller 10 gallon tank that I have as a kind of as a in between to uh, make sure everything's running fine. Um, but yeah, man, here's the results. Here's the the test. Um, this one I just did probably about 10 minutes ago, and, uh, and the shit's clear. So if uh, any of you have an ammonia spike or an accident or something. Um, I highly recommend, you know, hit it quickly with the Prime, um, add some file scar, it'll help get some of those uh, pollutions out of there, change to your Chemipure Elite, take out some of that, uh, some of that filter, it's shit, it's probably died, and uh, immediately, you know, add some, uh, some Biospira, I mean, this shit works, and along with the Microbacter. Now, just so you know, um, two days after I added the Microbacter, because the Microbacter actually tells you, I'm sorry, to, I think not to turn on your skimmer for a while. I know some guys use this for vodka dosing. Um, the shit just bubbled up. It just the skimmer just went out of control, started bubbling. I I, I probably changed it all about three or four times, but um, you know I kind of was aggressive with uh, trying to treat the tank, and um, I was able to uh, to uh, to get it back under control. My uh, my little ten gallon one that I have right now in my daughter's room. Um, is doing all right. I was able to move some of my other smaller corals and these other uh, clowns I had in here. So these guys all survived and stuff, and I was able to get these. But um, I lost a lot, a lot of coral in the process.
Um, you know, kids will be kids. There's not much you can do about it, but uh, it is what it is. So hopefully this uh, this video will help somebody. Sorry for the moving around. I have two tanks in different places. Um, and uh, if you guys have any questions, hit me up. Um, it's my humble opinion, my humble experience with this. And uh, uh, hopefully this video will be able to help out somebody. Alright, have a good night guys.